Welcome to 5 minute introduction on how to use JRabel with My Eclipse. JRabel is a small JPM plugin that makes it possible for you to instantly see any changes you make to a Java application without redeployment. Installation of JRabel plugin with My Eclipse is real easy. You just go to My Eclipse Configuration Center, click Dashboard, and you'll find JRabel for My Eclipse plugin right here in the popular plugin section. Select it and apply change. Once you install the plugin, you will need to acquire and apply the license. One last thing you have to do is to configure JRabel with My Eclipse Tomcat. Right click My Eclipse Tomcat and then select Configure Server Connector and then set JRabel settings. And you're ready to go. So here is a pet clinic Spring MVC sample application running over my Eclipse Tomcat. And I just ran the application and you see the welcome page on your browser. Now what I'm going to do is to make small changes in sequence to the application. And each time I make a change, I want to see the result right away. The first change I'm going to make is a very simple change in this welcome JSP page. I'm going to change find owner to find pet owner. So I go to welcome the JSP page and find pet owner, save the file and refresh the browser and you see the change. The next change we want to make is in the Java code. So let's take a few user actions in the browser first. Find pet owner, click add owner and click add owner button. When you try to add an owner without filling the fields, the validation logic gets used to validate each field. What we want to do is to disable the validation logic of the first field. So let's open owner validator the Java file and we are going to comment out these three lines of code, control 7, and you are going to save the change and refresh the browser and you see the change right away. The next change is to extract some code into a new method. So here I'm going to extract the six lines of code here into my method and OK. So my method has been created and here we are going to change this one x and change the third parameter to needed so that validation error message for this last name field will be needed. You save the change and we refresh the browser and you see the change right away. So we have seen that JRabel can detect changes in the JSP file and in the Java code. Now let's see if JRabel can handle the changes in the Spring context file. So the changes we are going to make in these steps are several. First, we are going to create a simple bean, and then we are going to declare the bean in the context file, and then we are going to use the bean in the Java code. So the bean that I'm going to create is called the my JRabel bean. For the sake of this demonstration, it is already created, and it is a very simple bean. It is a very simple bean which has just name field. Now the change I'm going to make next is to add the declaration of this bean in the context configuration file. And the context configuration file for this application is petclinic servlet.xml file. And here we are going to just uncomment this code. So this is the declaration of this bean, newly added bean in the context configuration file. Please note that the name field is set with the value of JRabel here. Now we are going to use this bean in the add owner from the Java. So let's uncomment these two lines. Here we are auto wiring this bean and we are going to use this bean for setting the first name of the owner. So comment out and we have to import the myJRabel bean class. And before we save the change, let's take a couple of user actions, go home and again find pet owner and add owner. So here you don't see the first name field is not set. 
Now let's save all the changes and refresh the browser and you see first name field set with JRable. This is the end of the video introduction on how to use JRable with MyEclipse. Thank you for watching.